In God's salvation, there is the birthright having three aspects. Being the priests to express God with his image, being the kings to represent God with his dominion, and taking full possession of the lost earth for God's eternal purpose. The enjoyment of the birthright fulfills God's original intention in creating man. Nothing is more precious or valuable than our birthright of expressing God with the priesthood, representing God with the kingship, and enjoying all the riches of Christ as the double portion of the land. We must be warned to honor and respect our birthright. Announcing the gospel to the poor. Proclaiming release to the captives. Recovery of sight to the blind and sending away and release those who are oppressed are the freedoms and blessings of the jubilee and of the birthright. As the Church of the Firstborn, the blessings and privileges of the birthright are for us to enjoy today. Our enjoyment of Christ and the practice of the priesthood and kingship today are the preparation and qualification for our participating in Christ's kingdom tomorrow. Amén. Alabado sea el Señor por la conferencia en Polonia 2023. Amén. Sí, qué contenta que estamos aquí expresando al Dios triuno procesado en nosotras. Amén. Sí, qué contenta que estamos de poder conocer hermanos y hermanas de, de toda la Europa, de todo el mundo y poder compenetrarnos los unos con los otros. Amén. Expresar nuestro Dios y compenetrar vuestro Dios con el nuestro. Amén. Amén. Estamos muy contentos de disfrutar aquí en Polonia los cantos con los hermanos, los juegos con los hermanos. Amén. Sí, qué gran oportunidad que tuvimos. Amén. Gloria al Señor por esta oportunidad Realmente para muchos de nosotros fue un largo trayecto Desde muchas otras partes del mundo Y llegar hasta aquí y poder disfrutar con tantos santos Con tantos jóvenes, hermanos servidores de todas partes Y poder conocernos, poder hablar la misma palabra Es un disfrute real Amén. Yo he disfrutado mucho en la porción de la primogenitura We have the birthright La porción de la primogenitura Y es que um, tenemos esta, la hemos recibido No por nuestras obras no por nuestro buen comportamiento Sino porque el Señor le plació Darnos la primogenitura Hoy tenemos una doble porción Tenemos el sacerdocio y también tenemos el reinado Gloria al Señor porque todas estas cosas Han sido dadas a nosotros Y hoy podemos disfrutarlas Me gusta mucho con respecto a la primogenitura Que simplemente debemos invocar Invocar, invocar en, en cada momento De esta manera podemos hacer La primogenitura real en nosotros Praise the Lord Amén Actually, what we are privileged to enjoy in Christ is the foretaste of the blessings in the coming kingdom. The proper enjoyment of this foretaste will usher us into the full taste of the kingdom blessings. If we do not enjoy Christ today as our good land, how can we enter into his rest in the kingdom and inherit the earth with him? If we do not exercise our priesthood today to contact him and prayerfully minister to him, How can we fulfill our priestly duty in the kingdom? If we do not exercise our spirit with the God-given authority to rule ourself, our flesh, our entire being, and the enemy with all his power of darkness today, how can we be Christ's co-kings and rule the nations with him in his kingdom? Our enjoyment of Christ and the practice of the priesthood and kingship today 
are the preparation and qualification for our participating in Christ's kingdom tomorrow. We must remember well that sonship in the scriptures means birth plus birthright. By the spiritual birth we have received the life of God. But it is by the birthright that we will inherit all that God is, all that God has, all that God has planned, and all that God will accomplish. God is the Father, and He has many things that He has planned and will accomplish. All that God Himself is, all that He has, and all that He has planned and will accomplish together are the inheritance. God's election, God's purpose in choosing us, is that we may have His life to become His sons and then inherit Himself as our everything, including all that He has, has planned, and will accomplish. Life plus inheritance added together equals the sonship. This is a very profound item. Ceea ce mai plăcut cel mai mult în conferința asta a fost în timpul drumeții, când am memorat un verset. M-am găsit în munții minunat în Polonia și cum am respirat aer prospăt, am realizat că de fapt făceam două tipuri de respirație. Pe de o parte, aerul de la afară era așa de dulce și curat, dar ce era și mai mult dulce era respirația Domnului prin cuvântul Lui. În mesajul din țara trecută, fratele a spus că Biblia este expirația Domnului pentru ca noi să-L inspirăm. Cuvântul Lui este asemenea aerului curat, așa de necesar și dulce. Na tej konferencji radowałem się e, tym, że Bóg dał nam prawo kapłaństwa, przez co możemy mieć z Nim osobistą relację i zwracać się do Niego każdego dnia. Amen. I really enjoyed that our birthright is God Himself. I enjoyed that we need to see the preciousness of the birthright. Amen. Lord, let us see the knowledge and the vision of the birthright. Мы не потеряем наше право первородства, если мы будем ошибаться или падать. Но мы потеряем, если целью нашей жизни будет какая-то высокая должность или что-то еще. Аллилуйя! Бог ценит, и Он ухватывается за тех, кто ценит право первородства. Ephesians 2.12 says that people living in the world today have no hope and are without God. Whether rich or poor, noble or base, civilized or barbaric, everyone is the same. All have no hope and are without God. Not only so, people today have fallen to such an extent that they have sold themselves to sin and Satan. Some people have sold themselves to sinful things, such as extravagant eating and drinking, sexual indulgence, gambling and drug addiction. With others, it may not be as obvious. Nevertheless, they also have sold themselves and are therefore without freedom, having no control over their own will. Therefore, in the year of Jubilee, there are two main blessings, the returning of every man to his lost possessions and the liberation from slavery. If we want to be truly free and able to enjoy God as our possession, we must receive the Lord Jesus as the real Jubilee in us. This is the meaning of the year of Jubilee. The Jubilee in the Bible is the age of the Gospel, which is this age. Once we repent and turn to God by receiving the Lord Jesus, we obtain God within. This is the beginning of our Jubilee. From that day onwards, our whole life is a Jubilee, and we enjoy the Jubilee forever. Sometimes we are like Esau, so focused on ourselves and on the world. So just because we want to satisfy ourselves, but we need to be more like Jacob, so desperate for the birthright. Amen. Um, as priests in the Church of the Firstborn, we have the right to enter into the Holy of Holies. Uh, through God's flesh, He opened the way for us, initiated an entrance. Now we have the right to enjoy God's presence. Let's, Let's go in! Let's, Let's enjoy! Romans 5.17 For if by the offense of the one, death reigned through the one, 
much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2, 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people acquired for a possession, so that you may tell out all the virtues of Him who has called you out of darkness and into His marvelous light. 2 Timothy 2, 22 Peši od mladalačkih želja, a idi za pravednošću, verom, ljubavlju, mirom, zajedno sa onima koji iz čista srca prizivaju gospoda. O, gospode Isuse! When we preach the gospel, we proclaim God's jubilee to others. In Luke 4, 18 to 19, the Lord Jesus made a proclamation concerning the coming of the jubilee. What does it mean to be saved? To be saved is to return to our inheritance, to return to God, to come back to God and to enjoy Him anew as our possession. God is our inheritance and after we are saved, the Spirit of God is in us as the pledge, the guarantee, the proof and the security of our inheritance. We have not only obtained salvation, but even more, we have obtained God. When we have God, we have everything. Without God, we have nothing. We are saved only when we have God, and with God, we have everything. Therefore, God is our inheritance. Lord, this right we would exercise, marriage is and give. 